Hello everybody, Coco29 is back with a brand new video. I hope you're excited for this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a car in Roblox Studio. And uh, yeah, uh, this was a request from one of my loyal viewers. I think I've had comments from this viewer for about almost a year now. So thank you for being such a loyal viewer. If you want your idea in a video, make sure to comment those in the... Uh, Make sure to leave a comment below what videos you want to see from me, and maybe your idea will get uh, put in the next video. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a car, and this should work um, through 2021, 2022. It should work uh, as long as the title does not say outdated, then this should work no matter what year you're watching this in. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go down to the link in the description, uh, and you're just going to come over here to this page, and this shows all the steps that I'm going to be using to make this car. Next, go ahead and click this car kit Roblox uh, file, and you're going to download it, and then double click it, and it'll open up in Roblox Studio. And once you're in Roblox Studio, you'll see a scene something like this, and this is where we're going to be building our car. So, I am not going to lie, I'm not a graphics person, so I do not really understand all this weld stuff that we're going to be doing, so I won't be explaining as much in this video, but we will be modifying the script a little bit, and I'll explain why I'm changing that. But, if you do want the finished project file from this video and others, make sure to become a Patreon on my page today the premium tier allows you to uh, get the source code and the uh, project file so you can just double click the file and it'll be all finished from the end of this video and uh, yeah so if you would like to do that go ahead and click the link in the description to get to my patreon page today all right now let's just dive right on in all right so now that you have this car kit downloaded and opened up what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top here and hit model this is where we're going to get all of our uh welds and all that stuff and uh i'm going to be doing this um from the uh i'm going to be doing this from the site so the link that i gave you guys you can just follow those instructions or you can just watch this video because it's going to be the same instructions and you can watch it as a video instead so uh, let's go ahead and start this. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have show constraints on. So that's this little button right here. You're going to, uh, sorry, constraint details, my bad. Just make sure that that's enable enabled. And we're also going to want to turn off collisions. So over here in home, uh, whoops, my bad. Well, it could be in home or model, it, it, whatever, <laughs> whichever one you want to use. Just turn off, make sure collisions is turned off, okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a uh an axle okay so we're gonna create a cylindrical <laughs> cylindr cylindrical all right so we're gonna create a cylindrical restraint so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go ahead and come up to create so it should be this little button up here click the little drop down and then select cylindrical right here okay next we're gonna go ahead and create the straight and the way we're gonna uh restraint and the way we're gonna do that sorry constraint not restraint is uh we're gonna click this this uh little dot con uh, con attachment sorry and then this one right here and this is going to attach these two with the cylindrical constraint uh so we're gonna make sure that we have that and then we need to set these um properties inside of our um cylinder down here where we have angular um act uh, sorry angular actuator type make sure that that's set to motor not none and also set the inclination angle, where is that right here, to 90, okay? Next, come down to slider and make sure limit enables, uh, limits enabled is on. And then we're going to change a couple things there. We're going to set the lower and upper limits to negative 1 and 1. So up here, the lower limit should be negative 1 and the upper limit should be 1. Next, we're going to create a spring, which is going to be act as our uh, like shock absorber okay um it's gonna i think what this does really helps to absorb the shock when we're bouncing on the ground with the wheels so uh the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna come to these constraints over here and click spring and next we're gonna create this constraint so the way we're gonna do that is we're going to come over to this attachment up here and we're gonna click it and then we're going to because it's gonna be connected to this we're gonna just drag it all the way over to this wheel constraint or attachment that's already there okay and that's gonna create this little spring attachment that we have right here or constraint sorry next we got to set the spring properties so we're gonna set the damping to 400 uh, which is right here in spring so set dam damping to 400 set free length to 2.0 okay and then set the uh stiffness to i believe it says yeah it says thirty thousand, which seems like a big number but we're just going to go with it because this is what roblox is saying to do next we're going to assemble the wheel unit and we're going to basically move them together so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to model and where we have move just click on that 
and over here where we have this cube let's just go ahead and click it and then let's also click the move so we have snap to grid on um, and set this to 0.5 studs and we're just gonna drag this so that it meets right there and we're gonna uh, attach them together that way uh, the wheel and the mount are uh, are stuck together now. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to group the wheel mount and our wheel. So we're going to take this wheel mount and we're going to hit control and click the wheel in the Explorer and then we're going to hit control G. All right, and that is how we're going to group it together. Next, we're going to want to move this so that it is attached to the base. So let's go ahead and move it so that it is right up next to the base. That looks perfect. It should be right there. Uh, okay, that looks great. Next, we're going to duplicate and we're going to rotate and move the back wheel. So we're going to click this and we're going to uh, duplicate it. So hit Control or Command D. Then we're going to move it all the way over here. About there. Uh, actually, one more there. And then we're going to hit Rotate twice. So Control R. That's going to rotate at 90 degrees and we can just do it twice. And that will set up our front and back wheel. Uh, sorry, our two back wheels. Next, we're going to want to do the same thing for the front wheels. So uh, let's go ahead and take this right here and hit Control D, duplicate it, and let's just drag it to the front. So this is the front, okay? And we're going to just want to do the same exact thing over here. We can take this wheel, duplicate it, and move it to the front. All right, perfect. So uh, the next thing we want to do is we are going to create weld constraints and we're going to weld the wheels to the base, which basically means that these uh, wheels are going to stick to the base, okay? So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to want to make sure show welds are on and that's just this button right here. Just make sure that, that is checked and um, also draw on top of so this button up here. Those just also need to be uh, enabled. Here we can hit the... Uh, little drop down arrow next to the spring and we're going to create a new weld we're going to create a weld constraint and that is this right here so we're going to start welding these wheels so uh, let's just go ahead and come up closer to it and then all we're going to do is we're just going to click the base okay uh whoops there we go my bad i'm gonna oh no what did i do don't do what i just did all right so we're going to click the weld right here we're going to click the wheel and we're going to click the base and it's going to automatically create this weld between them. Okay. And we can do the same thing over here. Let's just click this again, click that uh, mount and click the base. And we're just going to make sure that all of these are uh, welded, but we also need to um, just make sure if just to make sure that they're right, make sure that part zero, zero is set to the wheel mount and part one is set to the base. And it looks like that's just fine. So, uh, we want to make sure that we do the next thing, and the next thing uh, is to create some hinge constraints, so only do that for the front wheels, okay? Only the front wheels should have these, um, but next we're going to create some hinges to, uh, to set these back wheels on. This is going to allow us, I believe, this is going to allow us to like help drive them, and um, so we're going to hit the... Uh, the drop down and we're gonna click hinge and we're just gonna click this like in the middle of this um, block right here and then right about there oh sorry I didn't click that let me let me undo that real quick uh, oh what is happening great my bad <laughs> Alright, don't do that. So once we have our hinge selected, we're going to want to create these constraints. And what we're going to do is we're going to click the uh, mount in the back. We're going to click it right about in the middle. And then we're going to drag it onto the base, but we want it to be about right here. Okay, something like that. That looks good. And then let's create another hinge over here. Okay. And there we go. We have now hinged these back wheels on, but we do have to um, make sure that we set the properties correctly. So let's just uh, grab that hinge. So the way we can do that is just by coming uh, uh, over it and clicking hinge, hinge constraint, clicking shift, and then also selecting the other hinge constraint. The next thing we need to do is we need to set the hinges as servos. I'm honestly not sure what this does, but Again, that's what Roblox says to do. So we're going to uh, take the actuator type and set it to servo instead of none. And then we're also going to set the angular speed down here to 5. And the servo max torque to 10, uh, sorry, 100,000. So uh, 
there we go. We're going to set that to 100,000. Next, we're going to uh, move the hinge atta attach. Mm, sorry. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move these hinges. Um, now that we've set the properties and now that they're attached to each other, we're going to go ahead and click the hinge and click move. And then we're going to drag it onto the exact same spot that's, that this other one is at. Let's do the same thing for the other side. So we have our hinge attachment. Make sure that you select that hinge, not the spring, the hinge right here with the little thing sticking up. And let's just drag it on over to the exact same spot that it's at. So now we have our hinge attachments ready. And let's just go ahead and um, set up the names, okay? So uh, this is actually, I messed up. This, these are the front wheels, not the back wheels. The ones with the hinges are the fronts. So let's just rename these wheels really quick. Uh, let's close out these models. This one is front left. So wheel FL. We're going to need this for the script later, so make sure it's pronounced like that or uh, written like that. This one should be wheel FR for front right. And then this one is going to be wheel back right. So wheel BR. And the then the last one is going to be wheel BL for back left. And that is it that we have to do. But there is one more thing I want to do because this is all Roblox says to do. But... I just want to make sure that we uh, that we uh, are able to duplicate this car and have more than one of them. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to take the drive script, hit shift, make sure all the wheels, the drive script, and the base are selected, and hit group, and then rename this to car. And then inside the script, we're going to change this a bit, and we're just going to say uh, right here, we're going to say local car equals script dot parent so we're uh, just saying that this is the car and then instead of workspace dot wheel fr we're going to change all of these so uh, go ahead and select car and copy it control copy uh, control c to copy it and we're going to change all these places where it says workspace to just uh, car so you can paste it paste it paste it paste it and we do have an error up there and we'll fix that in just a second but make sure these are all pasted to car and then last thing, make sure that the car is uh, is above the we, uh, we vehicle seat. We should have the car on line one. And that is it. The rest of the script should work fine. Now we can duplicate this car as many times as we want. So let's just try it. Let's duplicate it a few times. And um, let's now go ahead and try and ride it. So let's just go ahead and, and click play here. Okay, so we have these cars. Let's go ahead and hop on one of them. And uh, it works, but we are riding backwards. And if that is happening to you, that means your wheel, is, I mean your uh, seat is backwards. So if either this is happening or if your um, car is not working at all, try this. This uh, happened to me last time. Click, uh, click Alt or Option on a Mac. And then click the wheel seat right here and then hit control R twice. We're going to rotate it 180 degrees. Let's just go ahead and get rid of these other cars right now. And now let's try it. That should work now. Now it's rotated 180 degrees. So we're going to be facing toward the front wheels and that way it won't be backwards. So let's hop on our car and as you can see it works and we can dry, uh, drive around. Make sure to mess with the settings if you'd like. In the script I'll show you what you can mess with. Whoa! And there are a couple things that obviously you'd want to change. Um, like you might want to add some more graphics to this car. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So some of the things you might want to try messing around with in your drive script are some of these... Um, these uh, these values you can change these to different numbers and as you can see this will have like um, faster braking faster acceleration higher number means sharper turning max car speed you know you can change these up and that'll help um, make your car more like you want it if you want to add more things to your car like maybe you want this little front I, I don't know I'm just showing you how you can start adding more parts to this maybe you want this little front um, I don't know what this is but something maybe you want this <laughs> little thing here um at the front of your car and maybe it's uh it's looks something like this um <laughs> obviously this is an example just click part uh or whatever this part is and unanchor it and then drag the part into your car model okay 
So make sure it's part of your car and then come up to model, click this drop down, click weld and you're going to weld this. So click the part unless it's already selected, then it'll automatically weld it and then select your base. And now let's go ahead and click play here and that should drive along with us. It should be part of our car now, which is awesome. You can also apply this with any other scripts. You should be able to do like a car spawning thing, things like that. And as you can see, now we have that little front piece and it's gonna drive along with us and it's done nothing to change it, but it, you know, we, uh, we have this little uh, front thing up there now and the car looks really weird now so <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe i am um sorry but i have the next few weeks are going to be off videos i'm going on a little uh, little end of the uh, toward the end of the school year vacation so i won't be back um chances are the next three weeks won't have a video i might be able to get one up on the third week but don't count on it i'm really sorry about that guys um so hang in there and then the next month i'll be back and i'm hoping at that point to start oh <laughs> to start um posting every week after that and i'm gonna re uh, redo the beginner scripting series i'm gonna do beginner scripting in 2022 hoping to do some how to make a video game like not just roblox but also like a unity game um i'm hoping to start doing some new things so uh yeah just stay tuned make sure you're subscribed for that so you're uh, notified when that does come out and we're signing off for now i'll see you next time thanks for watching